While Minister Rob Davies believes that something has to be done to curb the abuse of alcohol in South Africa, liquor traders defend that the liquor industry contributes significantly to the country's growth. The traders have launched a campaign against government's plan to impose stricter regulations on the sale of alcohol and cigarettes. We do recognize that the industry does uh, create uh, a contribution to the GDP and to jobs. We're not actually trying to, to introduce prohibition, but we are saying we're going to have to reduce abuse. Uh, and that means that uh, people that are involved in the trade are going to have to act more responsibly, accept more responsibility uh, for their, their conduct and practice. Data from South African Wine Industry Information and Systems shows that South Africans are consuming 13.6% more alcohol than they were a decade ago, with combined 4 billion litres of alcohol consumed in 2015. We have a very, very high level of alcohol abuse in our country. I think that's what it is. It's measured in terms of the overall levels of consumption, which are about twice the world average. Uh, we are, on a per capita basis, ranked in the top uh, 15 of the world, uh, as well as the per capita drinking by people who are actual drinkers is even higher. So I think that uh, we are um, not a country that can sit by and say that what we've got now is fine. Although there are those opposing the bill, some have weighed their support of it. Creative systems where suppliers of alcohol and related products can come up with a tracking system so that they know who they are selling to and that they can follow up on those people and where there is suspicion of illegal activity and distribution that can be reported. The proposed amendments to the National Liquor Act could see the drinking age go up from 18 years old to 21. Mpomato, ANN7, Kempton Park.